Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Portuguese Liga Zon Sagres. Today it's Vitorio Setubal against Porto. So without further ado, we're off to the stadium. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, everybody. Martin Tyler here, along with the former Arsenal and England striker, Alan Smith. Yeah, you come into ground some days and you do get that buzz of excitement. And I've got it here today, Martin. Looking forward to it. Be a lot of uh, analysis, I think, of how Porto do in this game. Well, this team has started like champions, haven't they? We all expected them to be at the end of it. But two wins out of two, they've certainly announced their intentions to the rest of the teams in this division. Archibaldo Pombal takes charge of this game today. we're underway here that's very well read and that's a very good interception Karezma he's got it back again Marcano Mikel to attack well, it's a tough place to visit this but the away team today come here in good heart Alan they've won he's going to give a free kick it's a dangerous uh, challenge so it's got to be a free kick and the referee letting them know that and the defenders just managed to deal with that Rahimi that's really well done good defending news of a goal from elsewhere Alan McInally it's a goal for the home team nine minutes played 1-0 thanks Alan Advin Kula he committed himself here there wasn't much cover but he got the ball the defender in the wide position he's taken on his man and beaten him showing it's a physical game when it's a fair one too and that's a great challenge towards Adrian Lopez. He has acknowledged the flag from his assistant, given the offside. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's a goal for Funchal East. 30 minutes played, 1-1. Cheers, Alan. Karezma on the attack here. What a chance here. And here's the shot. He can't miss. Just as well someone got in the way of that. Cleared for a corner. the ball away and saved his side from a, a difficult situation Got the ball now under control and a chance to move themselves forward get up the pitch got a chance to get the cross in he is the governor general of this team passed it gets it back passes it again wants it back Great 
opportunity. Rahimi. The opposition back off, they could be in trouble. And the ball gets to here. Yeah, he's gone too early. He's offside. Hector Herrera. Here's a shot now. Excellent goalkeeping from a Prinot. to widen the play really widen the build up but the ball just runs straight out over the touchline it's an easy interception could it be they've still got an opportunity here after the goalkeeper parried it Porto pushing on here getting men forward Great defending there, stopping that attack. Uh, beautifully done, the back heel. Here's the shot. Still a chance after that save. Push the defender aside. the ball here they're going to get a free kick here in a really good position for handball well encouraging position isn't it and uh, when you look at it I think the referee has made the right call he hasn't been able to hit with a volley here free kick into the wall Attack now. Rahimi. Good, strong challenge. Close range shot. Oh, Adrian Lopez. That will mean a lot to him, that particular goal. Well, the first goal is always important for any player, and that should enable him to kick on and feel a lot more comfortable now. Well, no sooner has the referee given the goal, he's going to blow for half-time. They've scored just before the whistle. Yeah, that's changed the manager's team talk, both managers. I thought at one point it's going wide, Martin, but just clipping the inside of the post, unstoppable for the keeper. So after the goal, we've opened the scoring here, 1-0. Quite an awkward situation for Porto. We know they're leading, but they're not playing full throttle, I would suggest. The second half could be quite awkward for them. Rahimi. Karezma. He's got space. That's really well done. Good defending. Oh, what a vital stop. Into the attacking third. Good interception by the defender. Last half time at 1 0. It's always a good time to score, but there are better times than others, and this is amongst the best times just before the break. Psychologically very rewarding for the team that have got the goal. It's definitely in a half a few chances. Here we go with the second half then. Porto in front at the moment.
Adrian Lopez, a recent signing and now a happier signing because he's got his first goal for the club. Yeah, you don't want it to be a long time before you get your first goal, so a little weight off his shoulders there. Well, they're in a good position here. I don't like to use the word panic, but I think it's appropriate here. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Timed his uh, approach and got the ball. Didn't hesitate, did he, with that challenge? Options available on the bench for the away side today. The Kenya. Well, he will say that the ball should have come quicker. He's offside. Adrian Lopez, he's coming off now, but he surely deserves all the applause he's getting. Yeah, he was bright and lively and showed a lot of energy, as you'd expect at a new club. Advin Kula. as easy as this save. The home team about to make a change. Now he's looking for support. And the defenders thank the goalkeeper for that positive piece of play catching the cross. Now, 